This week's Thomas Index Report is sponsored by KUKA Robotics, an ISO certified turnkey systems integrator for automation equipment, including robots for automotive, electronics, and other sectors. Welcome to the Thomas Index Report for the week of January 13th. One of the biggest trends we expect to see in 2020 is the continued adoption of automation technology, especially in light of the growing momentum and continuous advancement of IoT. By implementing automation technology, industrial businesses free up their human employees from working on dangerous production tasks, eliminate potential errors, reduce costs, and allow humans to handle more intellectually demanding projects. On the thomasnet.com platform, sourcing activity for automation equipment has grown 179% month over month, 102% year over year, and 151% over Q4 of last year. Similarly, sourcing for robots has increased 58% year over year and 163% over its Q4 averages. These sourcing trends reflect recent industry-wide adoption of new automation and robotic technologies. In 2017, global sales of industrial robots totaled about $42 billion. By 2023, that figure is expected to rise to $73.5 billion. According to the International Federation of Robotics, shipments of industrial robots are expected to reach 465,000 units by the end of this year, before increasing to 584,000 units by 2022. Sales of collaborative robots, or cobots, reached 66,150 units last year, but are anticipated to reach 735,000 units worldwide by 2025. This total represents a market size of about $12.8 billion. This major growth in automation around the globe is fueled primarily by the electronics market, the fastest growing field to incorporate robotics and is driven by the growth of IIoT. The second largest robotic sector is the automotive sector, which accounted for almost 33% of new robotic installations in 2018. The automotive sector's reliance on automation is expected to continue growing throughout the year as car production becomes increasingly complex and individualized. I'm Tony Apoff, and this is the Thomas Index Report.